Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode in our budget hardtail series. If you don't know what I'm on about, go back and watch our two previous videos. But if you can't be bothered, here's a quick rundown. Over the next few weeks, Lauren and I will be putting together this custom budget hardtail. And there's some really good news. At the end of the series, we're going to be giving away the bike to one lucky YouTube subscriber. To find out how you can win, just keep watching this video. Now in the last two videos, we introduced you to two vital components for this build, the frame and the fork. In this video, we're going to be taking you through every single component we've got for the build. It's going to be a really interesting watch, just if you're keeping up with everything that's happening with this series. But also, if you're putting together your own hardtail from scratch, it'll be super useful too. So make sure you get a pad and pen to write everything down. As you can see, there are loads of components here, and these are the ones we're gonna be using to build our custom budget hardtail. Let's take a closer look at each of them. First thing you're gonna need when you start any build is the frame. And this is the foundation of ours. This is the Brand X HT01. You can pretty much build it into any type of bike you want, from a dirt jump bike, cross country, to a general all round trail bike. And that's what we're gonna be doing. Right, one of the other key components when you're building a hardtail is the suspension fork. We've gone with this one. This is the RockShox Recon RL. Now the frame is pretty much built to take a 120 mil travel fork we're going to reduce the travel on this one down so it's going to work perfectly with our Brand X frame. Right, for our wheel set, we've gone with these. These are the Brand X trail wheels. They've just come out and these are incredible value. Really tough, durable, super reliable. And we can't wait to see what these look like when we put them onto our bike. Critical for comfort and control, you're gonna need a decent set of handlebars. We've gone with these from Brand X. These are 740 millimeters wide, and they've got the cut-in guidelines if you wanna cut them down any shorter. Okay, and clamping onto that handlebar will be this, the Nuke Proof Neutron Stem. You're gonna need something really comfy to grip onto. And for this build, we've gone for these lock-on grips. Check out the color on them. Now, it's not super exciting, but a headset is a vital part of any bike. And for this build, we've gone with this headset. Now, laced to those Brand X trail wheels, we've gone for these tires, the WTB Trail Boss. They're perfect for loads of conditions from dry to wet, loam to mud, all mountain riding, general trail riding. These are a really good choice. We're gonna be going tubeless on our wheel set, so we'll need a few things to do that. We're gonna need this tubeless sealant, And we're also gonna need some tubeless valves. Let's talk about the group set we're using on our hardtail. And we've picked a mighty fine one. This is the Microshift Advent X. This is the rear mech. We've also got this cassette. We've got the shifter. None of that's gonna be any good without a decent chain ring, and we've gone with this one from Black Spire. Without the chain ring and all the other group set parts, you're going nowhere without a decent chain. Does anyone do a better one than Shimano? That's the one we've gone with. We are gonna be pairing all that micro shift kit with these crank arms from Shimano. You 
you're going to go nowhere fast on those crank arms without a decent pair of pedals attached. Here are those decent pair of pedals, Nuke Proof Neutrons. Possibly one of the best budget slash entry level flat pedals on the market right now. Probably one of the biggest game changing components in cycling over the last few years and one of the best upgrades you can make to your bike if you haven't already done so. This is the dropper seat post we've gone with. It's from Brand X. It's one of the best ones out there. And attached to that dropper seat post, we've gone with this, the Nuke Proof Neutron Saddle. It's a great shape, really comfortable, and we can't wait to see what this looks like sat on top of that dropper seat post. We're gonna need to stop this bike at some point because when you blast it uphill really fast and smash the downs, you're gonna need the confidence and control of a decent set of brakes. We've gone with these Shimano Dior brakes. And we're marrying those brakes up with these disc brake rotors from Shimano. It's not sexy, it's not too exciting, unless you're into that kind of thing. The bottom bracket is a critical component on a bike. We've gone with this one from Nukeproof. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, if you're building your own bike, you don't want to get to that final build day only to find you've missed out some of those nibbly parts. So let's take a look at what those things might be. Starting with this, these are cables. Now, unless you've used a wireless group set, you're gonna need some cables to tie everything together. We've gone with these from Lifeline. Because our wheels don't come with a quick release, we've gone with this one from Hope. Arguably one of the most easy to forget components when you're putting your build together. It's super critical though, unless you want your saddle just to keep dropping into your frame, is the seat post collar. We've gone with this one from Brand X. To help you tweak and tune the front end of your bike, you're gonna need some headset spacers. We've gone with these carbon versions. Now this is a really important part, especially for our build. This is a front boost conversion kit because our front wheel does not come boost ready. Now, a pretty common thing when you're building any bike or if you're swapping out different brakes for your current bike, you're gonna need a brake adapter. Now this one is really specific to the wheels and the frame we're using, but it might be applicable to you too. This is a conversion kit for our rear wheel. Last but not least, I don't need to tell you how useful cable ties are. We're gonna be using a few in our build, mainly to attach our gear cable outdoors to the frame. There you go, they are all the components that we've got to build this bike from scratch. And don't forget, once the bike is fully built, we're gonna be giving it away to one of you lovely subscribers. For your chance to win, just click the link in the description and head to the entry page. Good luck. In next week's video, we're gonna be taking a look at all the pitfalls you might come across when you're building your bike from scratch. If you've got any to add, let us know down in the comment section. See you next week.